everyone. I am here to work with you on your first 50 first grade sight words. So there's 100 in first grade. Um, I broke it down into two videos, and this is the one where I'm kind of going to walk you through it, give you some tips and tricks if there are some for the word, and practice the word with you. There'll be another video of us um, saying them fluently together. So this video, if I can give you a tip or a trick, I will. Some of these words are just plain old sight words, so we have to kind of memorize them. They don't look how they should sound. They're not spelled the way we could sound them out. So we just want to make sure we, we have a lot of repetition with practice those. So we can do things like we can write them often. We can play go fish. We can play a memory game. We can do lots of different fun games with those words for that repetition just to memorize them because some of them are just hard that way. Um, other ones we can have a couple of tricks but Overall, these are some of the words that you just kind of have to work on remembering, and that's what we're going to have these videos so that you can keep practicing this summer. Because when we know our sight words, when we go to read books, we are able to read more, right? If we know our sight words, we can read lots of sentences, and then any words we don't know, we can sound out because we already know our sight words. So the more sight words we know, the better readers we're going to be. So I'm going to walk you through, I'm going to give you a minute to read the word, and then I will give you a tip or a trick if I have one. Um, but again, I do not for every word, unfortunately. So let's begin with our first grade 1 through 50 sight words. Also, you're going to see some are repeated from kindergarten, which is amazing because you already know it. So some of the words you're going to say, hey, I know that word, that was a kindergarten word. And some will be new. Here we go. V. So this was a kinder word. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to underline TH because we know TH stuck together says th. So it's going to make one sound. And this word is the word V. So it's saying V. So it's making its second sound. V is its second sound. So I'm going to draw number two to help us remember that it's saying its second sound. And the E is saying its name, right? So we can always try out words with its first sound, and if it doesn't work, we know to go to its second sound. So we could have said, th, eh, th. Well, that didn't work. How about we try, th, eh, th. We're getting closer. E could also make a second sound, and so we could try, th, e, v. So it's just about trying the first sound. If it doesn't work, we try another sound. So the word is the. Of. Now this is a trick word. It does not look like it should sound, so I like to say it like this. O, F, of, O, F, of, O, F, of. Just repeating it kind of when you see it, then you're like, O, F is of. So that's my trick for this word, of. We. W only makes one sound, so we'll say W, E, eh, W. Well, that didn't work. We is not a word, so I know that E makes another sound. It makes its name. It says its name. So let's try that. W, E, we. There we go. That made a word. So we tried the first sounds. When it doesn't work, we try another sound. The word is we. For. Like, I will get that door for you. So we have And then O-R says or. So it's or for they so this word is made up of two two letters that are stuck together so our first is th and our second is e and y so we know that th stuck together says th or th and this word it's th a it's making its second sound th now over here, this is a new one to us. We haven't practiced this one at school. I'm going to tell you the sounds that it makes, and if that helps you remember it, great. If you just want to work on remembering it, that works too. I just want to give you any tips or tricks or sounding out words that are possible. Okay? So EY stuck together says E, or it says A. So in the word donkey, I'm going to write it on the screen for you, we're going to see EY. Right here, donk e. Right here, e y is saying e. It's first sound. Donk e. The same thing is going to happen in the word monkey. Whoops. Monkey is going to end in e y, and in this case, e y is going to say e. So e y can say e, and if it doesn't, it's not v. We know that's not how we spell v. 
So we're going to try the other sound of EY, which is A. If it doesn't say E, it's going to say A. So one example word would be a color word that we know. Sorry, it's really hard to write on the computer. Gray. And this word, it's saying A. So we know that EY is making its second sound. So EY stuck together says E, or it's going to say A. We tried E first, this is E. We know that's not how you spell V. Cannot be the word V. So we try the second sound of EY, which is A. V, A, they. They both are making their second sound. And we could have gone through and we would have done the first sound for each, realized that wasn't a real word, and we would have kept trying the second sound until we got to the word they. A. This is, this letter just makes its, it says its name. So we could try a. Ah. Well, a ah isn't a word. Okay. So a, ah, a. We try a. A. Perfect. It makes its second sound. It's making. So this is the word a. As. So s is making the sound z. S is allowed to say s or z. It's saying its second sound. S is going to say that z sound when it follows a vowel. So A is a vowel. It's following A. So we know it's going to say its second sound, which is z. So we have a, z, as. He. And we're going to try the first sound. E, he. Well, that doesn't make a word, so we need to try the second sound of E. Ready? E. He. Well, that worked, so we know the word is he. Or. O, R, stuck together says or. The word is or. Was. This was another kindergarten word that was a little tricky for us because it looks like it should be was, okay? We know that the S is gonna say its second sound because it's following a vowel. It's gonna say that Z sound. So it looks like it should be was. So what I like to do is I send it out and I say was, was. Was, anytime I say it, I know it was was. Was is was, was is was. This is when I like to sound out and then know, oh, whenever I hear was, it's supposed to be was. Kind of a trickier one, but that's a good trick for you. And we'll sound it out. A, n, d, and another kinder word. Has. So again, we're going to go. We know that the S is going to make its second sound because it's following a vowel. A, z, has, has. She, S H stuck together says sh, and we're gonna try the first sound of E because we always try the first sound of the letter first. So we're gonna go sh, e, sh. Well, that didn't make a word, so I know that E has a second sound I could try, which is his name E. Let's try it. Sh, E, she. Very good. The word is she. You. Now there's a couple of tricks for this one. I'm gonna sound it out and teach you this OU sound. OU can get stuck together to say a couple of sounds and then I'll teach you a trick for it that I like to use sometimes. So OU makes a lot of different noises. Actually, it can make four. So OU can go ow, o, oo, or uh. So I go ow, o, oo, uh. Kind of like you're doing little motions like maybe you stubbed your toe and then you're feeling the pain. So it goes, ow, oh, ooh, uh. So those are the four sounds that OU is allowed to make. So we have y, oo. So it's making its third sound. It's ow, oh, ooh, y, oo, you. So we can practice ow, oh's three, I'm sorry, four sounds, ow, oh, ooh, uh, and know that it's making its third sound. That's one way to do it. Another trick that um, we learned in kindergarten was Y-O-U spells you, do 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 Y-O-U spells you, do 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 So whatever trick's going to work for you to keep practicing this U word so that you've got it down, 
you can either say why OU spells you or you can say why not OU stuck together can make four sounds. It can say ow, o, oo, or u. Uh. And in this case, it's making its third sound. The word is you. One. This is like the number one. This is another tricky word. It doesn't look like it should sound. So we like to go like this. O N E one O N E one O N E one. The word is one. So we're just spelling it out, kind of in a sing-songy thing, so that when we see it, we'll go O N E one. Okay. So we'll practice remembering that one because it doesn't have any easy tricks for it. Is now this one is another kindergarten word. We know that S is going to make his second sound, the Z sound, because he's following a vowel. I is a vowel. So I, making its second sound here, Z, is. Now again, if you were just sounding out this word by yourself, you would try the first sound of S. You would say I, S, is. Is isn't a word. Let me try the S the second sound, which is Z. And then you would say I, Z, is. The word is, is. To, like I would like to go to the store. So we, there's a couple of ways to think about this word. We know that O can make three sounds. It can say ah, O, or oo. In this case, it's saying oo. It's making its third sound. Ah, O, oo is kind of how I like to say them to help my brain remember. So we can say t u two. Another word is I like to go t o spells two t o spells two. Hi ho, did you know t o spells two two? Either way, you can help yourself remember it. And again, when we were sounding out this word, we would try t a uh, ta no a uh, o oh. t o oh. could be like the, a toe on your foot, but we we learned in kindergarten that's not how we spell it. So we'll try the third sound t u. Two. So we can remember it says third sound, or we can say two spells two. Either one will work for you to remember that this word is two. B, like I would like to be your friend. So again, we're gonna try the first sound of each letter. B, e, b, b is not a word. So we're gonna try again, and we're gonna make sure that we're gonna try a different sound. So we're gonna try that E is going to, um, the E is gonna say its name. So we're gonna go B, E, B. The word is B. The E in this word is saying its name, his second sound. The word is your. This is another trickier word, but we're gonna think of a couple different ways to remember it. So we can say Y, O, Er. Yower. We're kind of saying it a little differently. We're kind of stretching out those sounds. So y, o, he's making his o sound. So a, uh, o, he's making a second sound. Y, o, er, yower, your. You are stuck together can say er. So just like e r says er, you are says er. That's just one way to think about it if you would like. Y, o, er. Your, your. Other ways you might just want to work on practicing this word so that you remember it. Playing go fish or any other type of game to help your brain remember this word. The word is your. Said. This was another trickier word that we learned in kindergarten. A sight word. Remember, we just have to look at it, remember it. I did come up with one little trick. It might work for you and it might not. So it's something just to try out. Here's what I said. The I is a little tricky in this word. He says, he whispers to the A, he says, trick everybody. And you're gonna say, eh. You're gonna pretend to be an E. That's what he says. You're gonna say, eh. And then the I, he went in disguise. Do you see how he's being disguised as a person? And he is not gonna make any noises because he doesn't want anybody to know what he's done. He's disguising himself as a person so that he won't make any noises in this word and he won't get found out for what he did. So I told the A, say eh, like a joke. Say eh, because that's not the sound he's supposed to make. The I is in disguise as a person and will not make a noise. He won't say anything in the word. So we're gonna say s, eh, d, 
said. Kind of a fun way to think about it. Otherwise, that would be another one that we want to memorize. The word is said. His. So again, we're going to try everything's first sound. <sighs> is, his. That's not it. It sounds like a snake's hiss, but that has an extra S on it. So we are going to think about the S making his second sound because it's following a vowel. When an S is following a vowel, he's going to say the second sound, which is Z. Let's try it. <sighs> I, Z, his. The word is his. Into. We have the word in and we have the word to. We stick them together for in to. Again, we can say T-O spells to, T-O spells to, I how did you know T-O spells to, to. Or we could think about it making its third sound. Either way, we have the word in, to, into. Me. Let's try it with the first sound. So the E is going to make its first sound when we try it first, right? M, mm, E, eh, meh. Meh isn't a word. So we're going to try the second sound of E, which is E, his name. Ready? M, mm, E, me. That worked. The word is me. I. The I is saying its second sound, his name. We could try the first sound, I. Well, it isn't a word. Let me try a second sound. I. I is a word, and the word is I. From. So this is like if you were writing a note and you said, this is from so-and-so. This is another trickier word. It, we're going to sound it out, and it looks like it should say from. Ready? Fr -m. From. So it's another one. Like, was is was. I like to go or off from sounds close right we can say from is from this is another one we want to keep practicing from is from from have another kinder word we're going to go a have now you're going to notice there was a silent e here the E is on the end of this word because English words don't end in V, so add an E. We're not allowed to end a word with a V, so we have to add a silent E. His only job is to end the word so that we are allowed to end it, right? Because English words can't end with a V. But he doesn't make any noises. So we just say, a, v, have. The word is, have. Who? This is just a really tricky word. So this one I would definitely recommend you just practice a lot. You use it in different games and then you might even watch these videos and um, practice it often. So the word is who, like who's there? Who? Here. The word is here. Like I am over here. So we go e er here. Another way you can think about this is like you're saying, I'm over here. This R kind of looks like he could have an arrow, right? It kind of looks like it could be an arrow. So it's like it's pointing that I am over here. The E is his job on the end. It's just to be silent. We're saying E or here. And I kind of made this, try to make this R look like an arrow, like it's pointing over here. That might help you remember it as well. The word is here. Put. So again, we're going to try the first sound. We're going to say the first sound of you is a. Uh. P, a, uh, t, put. No. A, uh, the next sound is you. Let's try you. You, t, pute. No, that didn't work. It wasn't a. Uh. It wasn't you. Let's try the third sound, which is uh. Uh. Ready? P, uh, t, put. Put. That worked. In this case, U is making its third sound. P -uh put. The word is put. Some. The word is some. Like some of us like ice cream. Some. This is kind of another tricky word. I like to just try to sound it out and then 
just like was, I know it makes a different sound. So we go ah, m, som. Som is some. They kind of sound similar, just like from and from. So we can say ah, m, som is some. They sound similar enough, but that's another one we're going to want to keep practicing. Som is some. Do. Like, do you want to do this? Do. Now, it's just like two. So I can either say, Dio spells do, Dio spells do, hi ho, did you know, Dio spells do, do. Or we can think about it. So the first sound of O, we say ah. So let's try ah for this. Ready? D, ah, da. That didn't work. Okay. So ah, O. O is the second sound. Let's try it. D, O, do. No. Let's try the third sound, which is ooh. Ready? Ah, uh, oh, ooh. Ooh is our third sound. Let's try it. D, ooh, do. The word is do. And this word, O, is making it third sound. So it's the same thing as two. All we did was change the first sound. The O is making its third sound, its ooh sound, and this first letter changed. So we're either going to know it's d, ooh, by trying out all three sounds, or we're going to say that do spells do. Either way, the word is do. What? This is another kinder word that was a little tricky for us, but we kind of tried to do the same thing with was as what we've been doing. As we sound it out and then we're like, oh, I remember what that word is. So we know WH is wh. So wh, at, wat. wat. When we hear the word wat, we go wat is what, wat is what. It's kind of another tricky one we're going to want to practice a lot to remember, but that's how I always do it. I always say, I sound it out and I see that it sounds out like wat. And I say, oh, wat is always what. When I hear wat, the word is what. What is what? The word is what? Why? The word is why. Why would you do that? So we know that WH stuck together says what? Now, usually when we see I, we think yeah. But here's the thing. In a one syllable word, when the Y is at the end, it's going to say I. Why is kind of a thief. Why stole a couple of things? He stole the sound, the letter I, and sometimes Y even steals the sound E. We know that if it's a one syllable word, the I, I'm sorry, the Y at the end is going to make the I sound. That's the letter he stole. If it's a one syllable word, okay? So we know this is a one syllable word. Let's clap it out. Ready? Y has one syllable. We know the I, I'm sorry, the Y is going to say, I. English words don't end in I, so put a Y. We couldn't put an, uh, an I there we, at the end of a word because it's not allowed. So instead, we use the Y to say I. Let's try it out. W, I, Y. So it's another one we're going to want to think about. We're going to practice a lot because it's kind of a new thing for us is that one syllable words at the end, if it's a Y, it's going to say I. Now, if it's a two syllable word, we'll talk about it later but that would be E, okay? So this is wh, I, Y. Two, the word is two, like the number two. This is a really tricky one. It's spelled differently than T-O spells two, right? Because they mean different things. But this is one we're gonna wanna practice a lot just to remember. It's not spelled a way that's easy for us, so we're just gonna wanna practice it a lot, see it a lot, and practice it, you know, whether we're playing goldfish or memory or that kaboom game or um, you put it around your house and you just run to the word. Whatever you want to practice with, this is a word I would definitely put on there. The word is two, like the number. The word is come. This is another one that's kind of tricky for us. It's the same thing with some, right? Some and come, they both end the same. So it looks like it's going to be k -um, calm. Sounds really similar, right? Calm is come. They don't look exactly right, so we want to practice sounding it out and going, oh, calm is come. Another one we're going to want to practice a lot with, since it doesn't look exactly how it should be spelled. The word is come. Does. This is another one that's kind of tricky for us. We want to think of it, we want to spell it D-U-Z. A lot of our times in our writing, we spell does 
that way. So this is one we're going to want to try a lot. We're going to want to put up around our house and we're going to practice a lot. We're going to try and memorize it. The word is does. Say it with me. Does. Let's practice that one a lot, okay? So that we can remember this is does. When. The word is when. When can we go? We know that WH duck together says wha. And let's practice the rest of the word. Ready? Let's sound it out together. Wha. Eh. N. When. Perfect. We can sound that one out. The word is by. Like this book was written by Eric Carle. So we know that in a one syllable word, the Y makes the I sound. Because English words can't end in I, are not allowed to end with an I. So instead, we put a Y. This is a one syllable word. So instead of saying the Y sound, it's going to say I. Let's clap it out to see how many syllables it is. Ready? By. It just has that one syllable. So we know that the, uh, the Y is actually going to say I. B, I, by. Two. Now we've learned all the different twos, okay? We learned that T-O is like, I want to go to the store. We learned that T-W-O is like the number two. Now this one is like, I want to go to. So we were going to learn this right before spring break, but we weren't able to, so we can practice it now. O, O, stuck together says ooh uh. so o o says ooh or it says uh. and this word it says ooh so it's t ooh two so it's making its first sound we'll keep practicing that one t ooh two would like i would like to go with you this one, there's a lot of different ways to practice it and think about it. Um, the L is silent. So it's uh, d, would. And the L doesn't make any type of noise. He's kind of in disguise there. So I saw one where we can say there was a guy, and I'll show you the video, I'll link it below, where he had a duck that was sitting on his head. And he said, oh, you lucky ducky. And then the, finally the duck flew away with his wig and he said, Ooh. he's making this noise right here. This, Ooh. I'll show you the video below and you can watch it and it might help you remember this word. The L is being silent and we're saying, uh, d, would, would. Another word we're going to practice a lot. The word is would. The word is were. So we're going to say, wuh. Er, were. The E is being silent, and we can say that the E and the R stuck together are saying er, were. Some people like to think of it like this. They would say, we were going, because we can see that the word we is in here. So they'll think about it, and they'll look at this, and they'll say, oh, we, we were going. The word is were. So maybe that trick will work for you. If not, this is just another one we can keep practicing. That's what I'm saying. I'm going to give you any tricks I know or think of, and uh, it might work for you. It might not work for you, and it might work for you later. So I'll just give you any tips or tricks that I can. Where? Where are we going? Where? So this one, we know that WH is w, e, er, where. So this one, the E is silent, and these are making their own noises, E and R. It's w, e, er, where. Some other tricks I've heard is people like to say, where are we going? We are going here. The word here is in this word. So they would say, where are we going? We're going here. They remember it because the word here is in this word. So it's kind of answering the question of where. The answer is here. So hopefully that could be a trick that helps you remember it. Altogether, the word is where. My. That is my dog. Again, English words don't end in I, so put a Y. With a one syllable word, the I, I'm sorry, the Y will say I. This is a one syllable word. Let's clap it out. Ready? My. It's a one syllable, so we know that the Y is going to say I. Let's sound it out. Mm? I. 
my. The word is my. Very. V, e, r, e. Very. So now this is one where we get a practice with the I saying a different sound. Let's see how many syllables are in the word very. Clap it out with me. Ready? Very. It has two syllables. So we know if the Y is at the end in a one syllable word, the Y will say I. Well, this is not a one syllable word. It's not ver I. It's a two syllable word. So the Y is going to say E. Ver E. With the Y at a two syllable word, when it's at the end of a two syllable word, the Y says E. So it's U, E, R, E. Very. Again, we're going to want to keep practicing that one and keep practicing the, that when there's a Y at the end of a two syllable word, it says E. Let's keep practicing that one. The word is very. Could. So this should look a little familiar. It's the same word with just a different beginning. Instead of the W, when it says would, it's a C and it says could. So yet again, the L is silent. It doesn't make any noises and it's that uh, d. Remember when I talked about, I'll show you that video where the duck is on the guy's head and he's saying, oh, you lucky ducky. That's what the duck says. And then he pulls off the guy's wig and the guy says, uh, he's making this noise right here. Okay. So we know that OU can say, uh, that's his fourth sound and d makes it the normal sound. It's just the weird part of this is this L is totally silent and doesn't make any noises. So any way that can help you, I kind of give you a lot of different strategies there. Hopefully one will click with you. Our word is could. We're making sure that L doesn't make any noise. Could. 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 Are. Are you coming? This was another kinder word. At first, this is how we always remembered it. We would say, ignore the A, ignore the E, R, R, R. But then we learned some stuff. We learned that A, R, stuck together says R. So we can say R, and this is just the silent E. He doesn't really make any noises, okay? So the word is R. There. The word is there. The, eh, er, and this E is being silent. So we know that right away, the TH, so we're gonna say th, th, it's making its second sound. Th, eh, er, there, like she is over there. Just like with the word here, I always imagine this as being an arrow, this R, do you see it? Being an arrow. It looks like a nice big arrow. So it's really hard to draw with a mouse. It's not as uh, pretty as I was hoping for it to be. Um, but we can always think of this as being an arrow. So, all right, sorry. I was trying to click to erase the, uh, the arrow on the R and it kept clicking forward on the presentation. So hopefully we're back on track. Sorry about that, guys. Um, anyway, let's go with this word. The word is try. I'll try my best, try. Now remember, when we see a Y in a one syllable, at the end of a one syllable word, we know he's going to say I. If it was a two syllable word, the Y would say E. So think about this for a minute. Is this a one syllable or a two syllable word? Let's try it. Let's clap it out. Ready? Try. It's a one syllable word. Therefore, the Y is going to say I. English words don't end in I, so put a Y. Okay? Let's send it out. T -er -i, try. The word is try. Also, also, all so. It's kind of like we press together the words all and so. We lost an L, but we know it's a o s o. The O is making its a. Oh, his second sound. All. So. Also. Oh, we're back to these letters. We got the uh, silent, and then just his normal sound. So, 
SH stuck together says sh. So we have sh, uh, d, should. The word is should.